Evil Monty holds the key. Evil Monty's gonna get me. I'm hiding underneath my seat for fear of when he shouts to me. Evil, evil Monty. Well, shall I start this, or are you going to? Hello, and welcome back to The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly Show. Um, yeah, a bit of a different episode this week. We're going to be talking about um, this monkey. So, uh, yeah, I went, into a, um, I went into a charity shop and uh, found a monkey. So, he was... I can see you moving. He was... Um, he was, he was retailing around 15 quid, but he'd been marked down to about 7 quid, so I thought I cannot resist buying a, a, a robot monkey for £7. It's just too much of a bargain. Even if he doesn't work, I could, um, you know, harvest him for parts, perhaps. Joking. Um, so yeah, I thought that's, that's, that's probably quite a good idea. Obviously I knew, I've seen enough films to know I'm probably buying a cursed item, because, you know, the monkey's poor, uh, monkey shines, or the monkey with the symbols. If you think my nature tells me the monkey's probably evil, um, I'm sure he's not. I mean, maybe he's not. He hasn't killed us yet. I mean, my first fear was, obviously, that he'd come alive in the middle of the night and uh, eat my face, or kill all of my family, which could still be a possibility, couldn't it? I can see the way you look at me, and I don't like it. Um, so, yeah, I took him home. I gave him a home, and he works, kind of. So I don't really know the ins and outs about this. Um, I'll put the logo of what the what this is up on the screen now. I forget. I'm not going to go back and research and then come back. So it's called this. And you can get other ones like this. And uh, yeah. Um, so uh, I don't know. I mean, I thought my daughter would like him. I, I, I brought him home. I put him in the, uh, in the corner of the room. And I brought her home from school and said, I brought a monkey. He, he talks. He does tricks. I think. He can react to stuff. And she went, oh, okay. Um, we came into the front, you know, we came in through the front door, the house is all dark, he was sat in the corner looking like that, and it terrified her, and she won't be in the same room as him. Uh, my wife tries to put things over him, blankets and stuff. Um, so, yeah, you, you, you don't see much of the light of day, do you? But um, let's we get a better look at him. So, uh, yeah, here he is. Uh... A little bit, uh, a little bit Coraline-esque, I would say, uh, with the eyes. The eyes and the nose have sensors in them. Um, he has uh, wheels for hands and feet. Uh, apparently there's things you can do with this monkey. So um, you can, it's kind of like a baby, you have to sort of train him. You charge him up, then you train him and he kind of reacts to you and eventually he will um, understand and become uh, free thinking. And um, bring all his mates around, I don't know, take over the world. Um, it's all a bit scary, really. But um, no, eventually he becomes kind of sentient, so he, he'll start, he might start following you around. He might even become a guard. He might, he'll guard you and he'll attack, attack people that come near you, which is another terrifying idea. He can also, um, he's also sound as well. You can, uh, you can give him voice directions. He will sing. I don't know. So far, I've not had a huge amount of luck getting him to do stuff. So first of all, let's, um, let's have a look. So you've got a button up there and you've got a button on his back. Um, and there's a switch here. Um, I read the instructions very briefly. I got bored, stopped reading the instructions. But um, you can, you know, you can learn. You can learn. There are instructions for him. He does come with a manual, and you can get that online. I don't have the box or anything. Let's do it. Let's, let's turn him to this A and B. And underneath is a switch for good and evil. But um, we'll leave that. Um, doesn't really. um, so we'll switch him to A, right? So A, and then I'll press this button. Isn't that the most terrifying thing you've ever seen? Look at his eyes. His eyes, yeah, his eyes glow. I'll press the button on his back. <laughs> monkey? Monkey? Do my bidding, monkey. You're trying to go on the floor, aren't you? Yeah. Like a scene in Westworld. What's his problem? Um, terrifying. So, um, now we'll try the head button. I don't know what the difference is, really. The head button's not doing anything at all. So we'll change the switch to B, and I think then you press the head button. Ah! Oh, 
Okay. So my thoughts are, um, my thoughts are he's possibly broken. There could be some short circuiting going on there. He could be switched on, to, as I say, he could be switched on to evil. I don't know. Um, we'll put him on the floor in a minute and um, see if I can get him to do anything uh, interesting there. Okay, so we got him on a good surface, a nice smooth surface. Let's get him to um, oh, let's get him to uh, get him to do some tricks. Okay, so um, yeah, let's let's do it. Let's uh, let's come alive, shall we? Wiggling your butt. Well, he can do things, he can do flips, he can like run around the floor, he can follow you, he can do all kinds of things. Um, I'm not massively entirely convinced, to be honest, but, uh, but, um, yeah, anyhow, I was thinking maybe, I was thinking maybe he could become a sidekick. So, like, a lot of YouTubers, or people who call themselves YouTubers, have, um, these little sidekick characters that come along and talk and make little commentary in your videos, you know, they appear in the corner and they disagree with you, or agree with you or something, but they're there and people watch your videos because you've got a little sidekick. So I'm thinking, yeah, me and the monkey, maybe not. Uh, if anyone wants to name him, I haven't named him yet, I'm thinking of a bunch of names I can't decide on, so um, if anyone could think of a name for this bloke, then then put it, or oh, woman, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't even ask. Um, if anyone could think of a name, just pop it in the comments, um, we'll work it out together, maybe. Or, if you think it's a good idea for me to have an evil robot monkey as a sidekick, or not. Um, let me know. As I say, I'm, um, I'm new to this whole, like, this whole sort of gimmicky... I won't get too close to his face because he might bite my face off. I'm not too sure about this whole gimmicky thing. So there we go. That was a video about the possibility of me having a talking monkey as a companion. But I just thought I'd show him off anyway to see, like, how cool... He is a cool thing anyway, I think. Um... I don't know the way he looks at me. I'll state that right now. But uh, yeah, I think he's a cool thing. So um, yeah, if, if you want me to have a monkey companion, I mean, there, there are there are other possibilities, other robot possibilities as well. Um, I mean, there's always uh, there's always a talking eight-track robot from the 1970s that could be a possibility as well. I will unbox this guy. Um, this is a uh, um, amigo amigo creation. And uh, look how beautiful it is, and these kids enjoy playing with it as well. So I'll unbox this one at some point, and we'll do a little run-through of it. I need to get a power pack, because um, I need to somehow put power into the robot, because he's not yet alive. Another YouTube video about an evil robot monkey. I'm sure it's flooded with them, and so, uh, yeah, here's another one for that collection. Um, so, uh, how are we going to do this monkey? It's goodbye from me, and it's goodbye from from him. of terror and suspense. You're not gonna hurt me. I'm part of you. Monkey shines. A new into terror. It means I can't protect you. <laughs> 